What's up, YouTube family? My name is Shade, and thank you for joining again my mindfulness and wellness platform. And for today, I'm going to do a quick and brief review on this amazing book that I read a few years back called The Happy Vegan by Russell Simmons. And I picked this book up, um, I would say about four or five years ago when I first started my food journey where I wanted to kind of dive more in depth on the vegan journey, the vegetarian journey, and really just overall understanding the process of how meats really affect the body and different substitutes that I could possibly find as I begin this food transition. And I really admired that there was a book out there by a Black author specifically because I think that, you know, when we, for me, when I read books by Black authors about the health of the body, especially the Black body, because our body suffers so much from high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, and reading from a Black author who understands this and can really speak directly to the community like, yo, we have to clean up our diet and pay a lot of attention to the foods that we're eating so that we can have health and longevity in the long run and use our bodies as vessels so that our soul can carry out its mission and that was where I was beginning my journey and I didn't know where to turn to because I come from a background where so many people eat meat and I was looking for someone who could kind of guide me on that path and this was a really good intro starter book um, I'm not really for convincing people to become a vegan or a vegetarian or a pescatarian I think you have to figure out what works for your body but I am for people who have been doing their own cleanses with foods for years and can bring some knowledge in for different people who are just trying to find a place to start and begin. So if anyone is beginning their journey in transition this is a really good book to start with. Um, Russell Simmons goes into depth on how um, badly animals are treated before we get our meat sent to us the different types of misconceptions that a lot of people have about having a plant-based diet. So even if you're not strictly vegan or vegetarian, but incorporating a lot more plant-based foods into your diet and the misconceptions that a lot of people have about it not being healthy, you know, about it not being as tasteful. And he really goes in depth with like seasoning and how to make different types of foods, you know, and give it flavor and give it life also goes in depth on different substitutes that we can use for something like protein or even iron which I think when you have a strong plant-based diet if you're not eating the right foods you can become iron deficient as well as you know your protein levels can lessen so a lot of great jewels in this book it's only about I would say 250 pages if that and it's quick you can read it on your tra travel journey you can read it in your bed before night and the language and dialogue in the book is not you know over the top sciencey where you wouldn't be able to understand what he's talking about and that was another reason why I gravitated towards a book like this when I first started my journey because sometimes you don't want all of that lingo that science lingo where you have no idea what the hell they're talking about or saying so you feel disconnected from the information and this book is not like that at all very conversational straight to the point and just like yo you're either gonna do it and transition to a healthier lifestyle or you're not um, I'm not here to force you but I am here to inform you on how it worked for me so that's my quick review on The Happy Vegan by Russell Simmons. I ordered this book off of Amazon, but I'm sure you can pick it up on in so many natural food places, you know, yoga and mindfulness bookshops, as well as Amazon or Walmart. So thank you.